Hi, and welcome, everybody. It's Monday, August the 16th, and you know what that means? Every Monday, I get that handsome gentleman on the other side of me, Mr. Doug Upstone from Doc Sports. Joining me, as always, Doug, how was your weekend, buddy? It was excellent. Uh, the uh, d- did some things. It's uh, It's been, for here, surprisingly cool. We've actually had a fair amount of rain. I don't know if I brought that up before or not, but um, a bunch of days in a row of it under 100 degrees. So it's Wow. Now it's 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 Florida like humidity. <laughs> but, uh, but but it's you know it is a it is a welcome change. So that's it's kind of nice. And I I will never complain about rain here because uh, it's a uh, site that you don't often see. Yeah, it's an arid climate there. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you got to love guys from Phoenix who bring up it's been cooled off here. It's in the mid nineties, high nineties. So right, exactly. Yes, well, <laughs> in, in, in the great greater scheme of things, that's absolutely true. And because well, this is one place. Now, see, I and I think I told you this before. In in my next life, I want to come back as a weather person. And what because I I love the thing. And one of the my pet peeves of is it feels like. Okay, I just I yeah. I despise when people say that because. Uh, when you look at the weather, okay, uh, uh, six months from now or whatever, it's not going to say it felt like something. They're going to give you the temperature. <laughs> so it yeah. just go with it, you know, yeah. the temperature, the temperature, say where the humidity is. So, yeah, this, yeah. And this coming from a guy from Chicago, by the way, folks. It, exactly. Yeah. So it's just uh, all that and uh, well familiar uh, wind off the lake and all that nonsense, too. Okay. Well, this is our Major League Baseball free pick segment. Um, it's again, Monday, the 16th, and we're each going to give you a major league baseball free pick on Tuesday, August 17th card. Now our lines are subject to change depending on when you view the video. So please keep that in mind. Uh, you know, we're giving you a line that we're getting right now as we tape. And as you well know, folks, a lot of these major league baseball lines could change by 10, 20, 25 cents, uh, the day after. So keep that in mind. And Doug, uh, any uh, thoughts on what you've seen in Major League Baseball in terms of betting of late? Yeah, well, there, there's one thing, Ross, that I caught on Twitter and just just kind of caught my attention. Uh, it, it, I don't remember the name of the person. I it wasn't anyone that you know really knew. It just was something I saw. And they said basically from the middle of August to the end of the season that if you bet big favorites, okay, so big favorites re- referring to something that is 200 or higher, that uh, they they win 78 plus percent of the time, okay? Interesting to note, okay, sounds interesting. But then he also included without a, um, let's say an explanation that the return on investment was only 7%. And so if you're hitting 78%, you would certainly like a better return on your investment than that, which goes into the fact that in order to have success at this, that means you have to bet all of them, okay? Can't be selective. Because if you start getting selective, and let's say you take the Los Angeles Dodgers, the New York Yankees, or the Houston Astros at plus 350 one day, and it loses, that means you have to come back with four more wins in a row, basically, in order to cover up that loss. And uh, as if you've, you know, if you've bet money lines, even on football or some other things like this, you lose one that's 350. I'm going to tell you, like uh, Chris Farley said, that's going to leave a mark. (laughs) And so the, from that standpoint, it's not easy to do. So I I can't say that I think that's a good strategy. I think, you know, you're going to have to go up in some cases, you know, compared to, you know, June, uh, May, type baseball, but, you know, be careful because yeah. boy, th- those things can bury you in a hurry. Well, thank God the football's on the horizon. I know this is a baseball show, but why I say that is because starting in September, at least we'll start getting some college football and then run into the NFL the second week. And uh, we could afford to be choosy at that point on what we use in major league baseball. And Doug brings up a good point. Cause I had a a long elongated conversation with one of my customers about that very subject around the midpoint of the baseball season. And I showed him that favorites of minus 170 or greater had won 65% of the time this year. And this was at the midpoint. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Uh, and even though the 65%, they were up like $173 based on uh, 
playing to win hundred dollars a game. And, and Doug brings up another good point about, you know, if you lose a big favorite of three fifty, for example, you got to win four games to make up for that. And I'm telling you folks, what, what happens if you start playing all these big favorites and they have a bad week, you, you might be buried for the rest of the year and burn your whole bankroll. And then all of a sudden they hit 10 in a row and you're out of money. So, you know, uh, not smart money management, Doug, how about a free play for the folks on Tuesday the seventeenth? Okay, well, I'm looking at the game between the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, barring an utter collapse, the Brewers are in great shape to win the NL Central uh, and head to the playoffs. They got a nine-game lead on St. Louis. Uh, I think it's eight games on Cincinnati. Um, so they seem to be in pretty good shape. Now, St. Louis, on the other hand, they're you know. Their only realistic chance to the playoffs is through the wild card. It would seem now at this point, unless they sweep the Brewers for you know, which, which seems unlikely. But if if they did, that kind of brings them at least back. But they've gotten hot. Uh, the Brewers have been hot, and so have the Cardinals of late. Both have played lousy teams. Cardinals uh, are eight and two, okay, of late, and so they brought themselves back. And they're only three games now behind San Diego for the last wild card spot. Uh, the Brewers on the road, Ross, I mean, this is just amazing to me. They are 40 and 20 on the yeah. road this year. I mean, that's just, to me, an astonishing record. Um, you know, let's say the Cardinals though, now they're back home, six and oh, a road trip. The Cardinals are only 32 and 25 at home and they're gonna start Adam Wainwright in this one. And Ed, he's actually having a very good year. He's 39 years old, okay? But he's 11 and six. He's got a 3.27 ERA, which is his lowest ERA uh, in, when he's had at least 11 starts since 2014. So he's doing very well. And against, and his last three, his ERA is 1.96. So he's upped his game. And he just threw a complete game shutout in his, la in his, last, uh, in his last start. And in a, since 2016, he's he and his teammates, I should say, are nine and four against the Brewers. Now the Brew Crews, they're going to start uh, Corbin Burns, 2.16 ERA. He's been great, and uh, and he has one of the elements that R Ross loves to talk about, which is the whip. Okay, so uh, in this case, Burns is third, or excuse me, fourth in Major League Baseball in whip, and Wayne Wright is 16th. Now, to my way of thinking, the Brewers are the better team. OK, no question about that. But Burns and his teammates are only one and five against the Cardinals in his career. And with a total at seven and a half this season at home, the Cardinals are 11 and two at Bush Stadium when the total is seven to seven and a half. Let's take the Cardinals as an underdog for today's free play. And I believe it's at 125. Yeah, that's uh, look, that was a great breakdown, folks. Uh, and matter of fact, you look at that 11 to two record when it totals seven to seven and a half at home, what that tells me, and I'm sure I can't speak for Doug, but I think he'll agree with me on this is when the Cardinals fit, face a very good pitcher, starting pitcher at home, they've done awfully well this year, and you're probably catching them at a good price. Uh, so yeah, that's, that makes a lot of sense to me. I'll tell you what. Um, Milwaukee, I don't know if anybody wants to play them in a the postseason with their top three pitchers, Doug. They're going to be awfully tough to beat, and they're starting to hit right now. So, uh, again, great breakdown from Doug Upstone. And, again, Doug, you like? I like the St. Louis Cardinals in this one to get the job done for, to, for this week's free play. All right. Uh, me, I'm going to look at the L.A. Angels and the Detroit Tigers in uh, – you know, the Angels had high expectations heading into the year, but they were decimated by injuries. Their pitching hasn't been very good, and especially Dylan Bundy, their veteran right-hander. Um, he's 3-5, and five and his team starts on the road this year with a 6 0 ERA and averaging less than five innings pitch per start. The Angels' bullpen, although not terrible, they're not great either. Uh, so he doesn't figure to get a heck of a lot of help from his bullpen, and he's going to be facing – uh, a Detroit team that really hasn't thrown in the towel, Doug. And, and, and you know, even though they're under 500, um, I would venture to say they're one of the overachieving teams in baseball this year because a lot of people were, the experts out there were picking them to lose 95 to 100 games. And here they are. They still have a chance to go 81 and 81 possibly. So Casey Mize gets the start. And he's very unheralded. 
13 and nine in his team starts this year with the 366 ERA. And the LA Angels, by the way, uh, they have a terrible record against uh, starting pitchers that have an ERA of less than four this year. If you check out, I don't have the exact stat. Oh, here it is. Eight and 19 this year versus American League starting pitchers with an ERA of 370 or less, which Casey Mize qualifies in that regards. Detroit has won 13 of their last 18 at home here, Doug. I like the Detroit Tigers as a small home favorite of minus 120 over the LA Angels. Again, for Tuesday, August 17th, Doug Upstone likes the St. Louis Cardinals over the Milwaukee uh, Brewers. I almost said Milwaukee Braves. We're showing our age. <laughs> and uh, Ross Benjamin likes the Detroit Tigers minus 120 over the LA Angels. Doug, before we go, tell the folks how they could find you over at DocSports.com and how you've been doing of late. Well, baseball, we've been talking since we, on these Monday videos about how well it's going in baseball, and it continues. Uh, this month, 17 and 7, so that's just been adding on to what I've been doing. Uh, that's over $3,000 in terms of profit based on, on units at Docs, and for the season, up almost $10,000 in profit, okay, uh, 31 games over 500 since May 9th, so it's been a great season, Ross, and I'm going to try and complete the deal like you. I'm back off a little bit once we get to September in baseball, so I'm trying to finish August with on a real tear, and I love your Detroit pick, by the way. I might even have to consider that myself for tomorrow. Well, brilliant minds think alike, and Doug, uh, before we get to me. Uh, tell the folks how you did in football last year. You had quite a good season, especially in the college football. Yes, college football was very good. I closed the season 40 and 22, cleaned up in the bowl games. It, it was great. So looking forward to the, uh, was that, well, by the time you see this video on Tuesday, what is that, 11 or 12, 12 days or 11 days until we start the college football season. So looking forward to that, I think we got five games on that day. And then, of course, then the following week, then we really get into the uh, meat and potatoes. So, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Uh, I've been doing, like you, Ross, been doing a lot of research. And now I'm in the home stretch for the research to start the season. And so excellent and ready to go and excited to make it happen. And they can get you, your, Ross. You, they can get your subscriptions right at Doug. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Com. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, that is correct. Uh, we I have there's full season subscriptions, and right now you can save two hundred and one dollars, and that includes college and pro football. Okay, okay, so it's both. So yeah, it's it's a great deal that have have going at Docs right now. So yes, so thanks for bringing that up. Yep, this guy's a consistent winner, folks. You can check him out at Doc Sports. Dot com. Uh, you can find me at rbwins.com. My Major League Baseball top plays continue to win. Saturday, I gave out one of those highest rated selections on uh, my Major League Baseball underdog game of the week, and it was on the New York Yankees who won as a plus 128 dog at the Chicago White Sox, even though they made me sweat, Doug. Two outs <laughs> with a one-run lead. And again, the Yankees got to make things exciting and give, out a, give up a home run with two outs in the ninth. But they, Joe, thanks to Joey Gallo, uh, they won by, they scored three in the top of the 10th, ended up winning seven to five. So 27 and 14 on the year, that's good for 65%. My NFL and college football uh, subscriptions are up. You could uh, find me at rbwins.com. You could also give me a call direct at 781-571-0299, 781-571-0299. I accept all major credit cards. I hire or, or employ, I should say, no salespeople. You'll talk to me and me direct. That's it. Uh, no big sales pitch. It is what it is. This is the price you want it or not. And we'll go from there. Anyway, until the next time, for Doug Upstone, I'm Ross Benjamin. Good luck and God bless, folks. <laughs>